Better get a move on it. We just stole Santa. The world's not so terrible villains are back, and we've got all the juicy details on the trailer, cast, and plot. So get ready for a villainous adventure as we unravel the mysteries of the baddest sequel in town. Just a fair warning, spoilers ahead. Our beloved characters are getting ready to take over the holiday season. The bad guys prove to be one of DreamWorks' most original movies with its adorable yet well-developed characters, fun storylines, and simple but sweet messages. Christmas is canceled. If folks don't stay home to celebrate, we won't be able to clean the city out. The animal trend is getting more popular with Sonic the Hedgehog, Paw Patrol, and now the sequel to The Bad Guys. I don't know about you, but I feel like mixing adorable animals with the classic heist storyline is one of the greatest ideas ever. Released in April 2022, The Bad Guys focuses on Mr. Wolf, Mr. Snake, Mr. Shark, Ms. Tarantula, and Mr. Piranha. All of them live a wealthy lifestyle thanks to their stealing abilities. Because of the mocking by the city's leader, Governor Foxington, these fellas decide to steal the Golden Dolphin Award, a trophy they never managed to steal even after several attempts in the past. During their mission, they face multiple challenges, and even though they are very close to stealing the trophy this time, they get caught by the police. This is when Professor Marmalade decides to go on a very difficult mission, transform the wrongdoers into good guys. Near the end of the movie, it turns out that Marmalade set the guys up. He ends up stealing a special meteorite that gives him unbelievable powers. Because of him, the bad guys end up taking fault, and the team is now trying to defeat and outsmart Marmalade. We'll cheer up the city in time to rob at Christmas morning. Let's go do some good so we can be bad. It's not surprising why this movie turned out to be so successful. Both children and adults find the movie appealing, especially its animation style with a mix of 3D and 2D design. So, what's the sequel about? Well, if we ever get a direct continuation of the movie, there are plenty of direct the project could go. Luckily, The Bad Guys has a mid credit scene in which we basically see the plot base of the sequel. In the scene, Mr. Wolf and Mr. Snake are seen leaving jail. They are, in fact, the last ones to leave the place and are granted early release for good behavior. This is how we know the guys went through an incredible transformation and are now, well, the good guys. The rest of the bad guys pick up their friends together with Foxington. He asks the guys if they are ready to get to work as they drive into the city. Undone the next film will focus on the guys as they embark on a new challenging adventure while learning how to be good. Now, did you know that the bad guys are getting a Netflix holiday special? Yeah, that's right. DreamWorks already confirmed the project, and in it, the bad guys are becoming the good guys and are, yes, trying to save, you guessed it, Christmas. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this. The streaming giant Netflix is now the home of DreamWorks animation films. In order to welcome the project and celebrate, they decided to expand the universe by making a bad guy's holiday special. Thank you, Netflix. You never seen an ab before? Cough it up. The plot of the special is simple. The bad guys will have to pause their heist plans in order to save Christmas for everyone in town. The special will be directed by the amazingly talented director Brett and Catherine is set to work on the project as an executive producer. So, we previously discussed the potential sequel and you're probably wondering why we didn't start with the holiday special. Well, because the sequel is a prequel. That's right, the movie takes place before the events of the film. The synopsis confirms the film will open with the bad guys preparing to celebrate their favorite day of the year, Christmas Day. But they are not excited about Christmas for the gifts of the holiday spirit. In fact, they are excited that everyone will be busy opening gifts and everything, and no one will be around to stop the guys from enjoying their biggest holiday heist. The story gets an interesting turn when the guys discover that Christmas is canceled. So, in order to get back to their initial plans, they need to save Christmas. Machine to make snow. No. A vortex is spinning out of control! Ah! Netflix is a smart streaming platform, that's for sure. They quickly realized just how successful Bad Guys is and decided to turn this project into a big franchise. Back when the Bad Guys was released, it was at the top of the US box office for two weeks, grossing $250 million worldwide with a low budget of $70 million. And if we know anything, we know Netflix doesn't like spending a lot of money on movies and TV shows. Whenever something gets too expensive, they cancel it. But I'll leave that topic for another video. So Netflix got the rights to the Bad 
bad guys shortly after the film departed Peacock, and when the film arrived on Netflix, it found itself at the top of Netflix's weekly film rankings. As for those coming back for the special, you'll be happy to know that we will see all of the characters return. Before we jump into more details regarding the bad guys too, its plot and its cast, make sure you're part of our crew by subscribing and hitting that notification bell. Keep the conversation going by sharing your thoughts and theories about the first trailer for a very bad holiday. DreamWorks' next adventure for the bad guys is titled The Bad Guys A Very Bad Holiday. The company released the first teaser trailer for the movie and in it, we see what our favorite gang of animal criminals did before the events of the movie. The film will premiere on Netflix sooner than expected on November 30th, 2023. The trailer confirms the group of villainous animals will have to do some good before doing some bad. Unfortunately, the special will only be 22 minutes long, and if this project is successful and popular enough, maybe DreamWorks will finally greenlight a direct sequel in the form of a film. The trailer starts with the confirmation this will be a sequel as we hear, "'Twas the day before Christmas before the bad guys turned good." Their first plan is to steal gifts and leave them in houses, thus doing something good. But no matter what they do, they still manage to ruin the holidays for the people. I guess doing good stuff is not gonna be easy. The thing I love the most about this special is the humor. Oh boy, I absolutely love these jokes. If the trailer is so funny, imagine the whole thing. But watching this trailer made us think about the voices of the characters. For this Netflix prequel, the characters had to replace its original cast with a new group of voice actors. The special stars Michael as Wolf, previously played by Sam Rockwell, Ezekiel as Shark, previously played by Craig Robinson, Rawl as Piranha, previously played by Anthony Ramos, Chris as Snake, previously played by Mark Marin, Mallory Lowe as Tarantula, previously played by Aquafina, and Zahara as Tiffany, previously played by Lily Singh. We also have some new characters. Keith and Carrie are set to play the new exciting characters Gary and DJ Trudy Tude, respectively. So, could Team Wolf become heroes? Well, since this is a prequel, we don't think so. Perhaps in a potential sequel. Do you think The Bad Guys deserves to go beyond its first movie installment? Team Wolf was let out of jail for good behavior after all. It's not hard to imagine them doing good stuff in the sequel. They served a year for their crimes. They could seriously do a great job while helping the cops solve crimes. What do you guys think? Do you have some plot theories for a potential sequel? Let us know. And there you have it, the Scoop and the Bad Guys 2 trailer, cast, and plot. If you're as excited as we are, give us a thumbs up and share your villainous predictions in the comments below. Stay tuned for more updates, and until then, may your days be filled with special and thrilling moments. See ya!